The Bachelor fans all let out a collective thank you, sweet lord, when past Bachelor contestant and season 15 winner Emily Maynard was revealed as the next Bachelorette. Now we've got new details about the upcoming season from host Chris Harrison himself. Hey guys, I'm your host Deidre Behar, hanging out here in the Clever News studio in Hollywood, and you're watching Remote Access, the show where we keep you up to date on all the latest TV buzz. Chris Harrison chatted with Entertainment Weekly to dish on just how different Emily's season of The Bachelorette will be in regards to the fact that she will be the first single mom to take on the show. Chris explained, quote, It's gonna be a very different season of The Bachelorette, again pushing the social debate of the single mom and when is it okay to bring the daughter in? Is it okay? How do you act as a mom? Is it different than as a single mom who's footloose and fancy free? What about the guys? How are they gonna ask? The guy who comes in and gets dead drunk on night one and passes out? That's not so cute anymore. So how much frat house behavior is there? Are there guys in the middle of it that are like, I'm out, it's not for me, I don't want to be a dad. So it's going to be a very different season and I kind of relish that. And as far as a shooting location is concerned, nothing has been set in stone quite yet, even though online reports have been swirling that it might tape in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where Emily lives with her young daughter, Ricky. Chris said, the locations have not been confirmed, Charlotte and beyond that. We're still scouting all over the place. We still have a lot of time before we start shooting for a spring premiere. Going to her or somewhere in between, there will be a lot of compromises because of Ricky, which is cool, I love that. And finally, the question that's on everyone's mind, will that Bentley guy who was a jerk to Ashley last season after learning The Bachelorette was not Emily be coming back to try to claim the prize? Chris, ever the gentleman, responded, honestly, we haven't approached Bentley. I don't think he's approached us. I don't mean to be the big brother like I'm the gatekeeper, but he'd have to impress me. I love Emily, she's a friend of mine, and before I let any SOB on the show, I wanna make sure he's a good guy. But you know what? I wouldn't be opposed to him coming back. I really wouldn't. This has nothing to do with TV. If he came back and did a full mea culpa and threw himself on the court and said, look, I was an ass, I screwed up, I'm sorry, you're right. Now that I watch it all back, we all make mistakes. We all do foolish things. If he came back and seemed sincere, then it's up to Emily. I don't mind giving someone a chance because then it's her choice. And you know what? Crazier things have happened. Maybe they end up happily married. And let's hope that that's not gonna be the case. Keep checking back here for all the latest Bachelorette buzz and please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search Clever News. I'm Deidre Behar in Hollywood and we'll see you soon.